The speculation tax here in British Columbia is a big topic, and what is it all about? Well, uh, it was a tax measure brought in by the new government uh, back in February. Uh, it was aimed to kind of cool the housing markets in certain geographical areas. Yeah. Um, and it's really aimed at people who own secondary properties in BC that aren't renting them out full time. Okay, so uh, who is affected? Well, uh, technically everyone's going to get a declaration that they have to fill out in the mail. So if you it's your principal residence, you just fill it out, you're good to go. Um, but it's going to affect people who own a secondary property in BC that do not rent it out for at least six months a year. Okay, so there has to be a minimum six month uh, rent. Yes, and that six months, it can be it has to be minimum 30 day increments. Okay. So if you have an Airbnb, short term vacation rental, unfortunately that will not qualify. They're looking. The government's intention is to put more rental stock back out into the market. Okay, so if you rent for six months, uh, there's a form, you'll be exempt. Yes, so you'll fill out the declaration, you'll have to prove you know, that you've had tenancy, so showing copies of tenancy agreements or, or things like that. Yeah. You'll fill in that information, you'll and send it back to the government. And that's anyone, that's not just BC residents. That's anyone, exactly, yes. people from across Canada. So one of the amendments that happened is that all Canadians, it will be half a percent. Yeah. That's half a percent of the assessed value every year. Uh, if you are um, a non-Canadian non American from somewhere else, it will be 2%. Yes, okay. So, um, has it changed? Because this is the big, the big question is, you know, spec tax is in now. Yeah. Has it really made a difference? <sighs> so far, no, not that we can see, right? Rental vacancies have slowly been creeping up, but I think we can attribute more of that to rental stock and new rental, purpose-built rentals being added. So yeah. uh, we'll see what happens next year. I think the sentiment for a lot of people is, really this tax isn't gonna bring forward the affordable housing that they're looking for. So it's more of a wealth tax than it is really anything else. Yeah. Well, and the, the other thing too, as an aside, is the foreign buyer tax. Of course, yes. yes. Yeah, so it's kind of a double-pronged measure. Uh, if you're one of our clients and you're living in Vancouver, of course, Vancouver has the empty homes tax as well. Uh, so you could end up paying this tax twice. Great. Well, if you would like more information, our link is going to be uh, posted right below here. Yeah, we're going to include some slides that I have from a, a course that we put on at the Real Estate yeah. Board. There's going to be a ton of link because there is a bunch of other exemptions as well for medical, uh, family usage and things like that. So we, it's too long for us to go through every single exemption, but take a look at the information we got and I think you're going to find it really useful. And if you have any questions and you like to chat, just call us. We'll be happy to talk. Always happy to help.